Jiang Duga's eyes lit up. At his cultivation level, he no longer pursued power or worldly possessions. He only pursued the position of sage. Han Ju had a strange expression. It sounded like Li Mui. Han Ju had transformed into a sage several times before and remembered the voices of some sages. Li Mui was indeed a scammer. The sage position was clearly in Yuo's hands, but he even deceived his own people. Jiang Dugu took a deep breath and said, All right, I understand. The light dissipated. The illusion shattered, and Han Ju's consciousness returned to reality. Among the people from the hidden sect, only Dao Sovereign was injured. Han Ju pinched his fingers to deduce and knew that not a single nether race member had died. He began to hesitate. Should he take revenge on Jiang Dugu? No! He had to take revenge. Although we are good friends, you can't hurt my disciples. Han Ju took out the Book of Misfortune and started cursing Jiang Dugu. After cursing him for five days, Han Ju started cursing Li Mui. It was all because of this old fox. Han Ju didn't curse too hard. He warned everyone for five days. All sorts of people attended the Heavenly Races Banquet. Han Ju wasn't afraid of being exposed. After about 36 years, Moronchi and the others finally returned. Dao Sovereign's injuries had also recovered. The three of them met Han Ju. Moronchi was the first to describe the regions that the hidden sect had obtained. There were a total of three regions, and the Hundred Peak Immortal River was in one. The region in the Immortal World was much larger than the Reroll World. The Hidden Sect didn't obtain the most territory. It was inferior to the three schools of the Tao Sect, the Buddhist Sect, and the Heavenly Court, but it was not small either. Hanju said, that's right, but this division is useless. In the end, it's still survival of the fittest. Everyone will fight for supremacy. Murochi nodded. That's true but at least we have our own territory. By the way, someone attacked us during this banquet. Fortunately, the mighty figure behind the heavenly race took action. Dao Sovereign cursed. Damn it, he ran away quickly. Jiang Yi teased. You insisted on going up to show off, but in the end, you made him show off his power. How embarrassing. Dao Sovereign glared at him angrily. Han Ju asked, Li Daokong didn't go? Murongchi shook his head and said, No. I heard that Li Daokong has disappeared for some time. The human school seems to be preparing to choose a new first and second disciple. Hanju raised his eyebrows. Speaking of which, he was very curious about the human school. At first, he thought that there were only two disciples in the human school. Later, he learned that there was a disciple like Jiang Dugu. Could it be that just like the hidden sect, only a few people were considered orthodox disciples? You can leave. Cultivate well, Han Ju said with his eyes closed. The three of them immediately bowed and left. As for the three regions, Han Ju didn't want to care about them for the time being. Before attaining the Tao, he wouldn't leave the Tao field. After Murong Chi and the others returned, the other disciples gathered and asked about the banquet. The Heavenly Race Banquet was equivalent to the peak gathering of the current Immortal World. In the future, it would also be a miniature version of the Immortal World and even the Myriad Worlds. In a hall outside the 33rd Heaven, Li Mui, Sect Master Tianju, South Extreme Heavenly Venerate, and Sage Jinan gathered and sat opposite each other. Really? Sect Master Tianju frowned and asked. Li Mui said calmly, that's right. Although it didn't hurt me, it was indeed a curse. I can't tell who it is. The South Extreme Heavenly Venerate snorted. It seems that South Extreme Heavenly Venerate is right. There's someone suspicious among the sages. The calamity had finally ended, but someone was already targeting other sages. Their intentions were punishable. The Great Tao Calamity hung above the sages like a sharp blade. What was the Dark Forbidden Lord trying to do? Get rid of all the sages and dominate the Heavenly Tao, just like the Tao Ancestor of the past? Why could the Tao Ancestor keep becoming stronger? Wasn't it because no one was competing with him?
Ever since the Dao ancestor became a sage, no one could chase after him. After a long period of time, a second heavenly Dao sage appeared. Furthermore, in the following period of time, five sages appeared one after another, causing the six sages to compete and be unable to cultivate in peace. The sages had always felt that there was a conspiracy. Sage Jinan asked, if we can't even deduce the dark forbidden lord, wouldn't he be stronger than us? Who is the strongest sage of the current era? The South Extreme Heavenly Venerate narrowed his eyes. Sage faded secrets. Sect Master Tianju said, we can't give up on suspecting him. After all, the first person the Dark Forbidden Lord cursed was him. Under normal circumstances, he would definitely start from the weakest. Li Mui said, although I'm not a Heavenly Dao Sage, my cultivation level is actually about the same as Sage Faded Secrets. I only created another Heavenly Tao. Recently, the Kiliakazam world has been in chaos. A mysterious existence is mobilizing the inauspicious evil of the Dark Forbidden Zone. The other three sages fell silent. It was as if a huge hand was manipulating everything. Even sages were confused. Sage Jinan suddenly said, could the disappearance of the Tao ancestor be a trap? How can an existence like him be devoured by the heavenly Tao? Sept Master Tianju glanced at him and said, Be careful with your words. Li Mui said, Let's find the Dark Forbidden Lord first. I feel that he's fighting for the position left behind by Empress Niwa. It's very likely that he has already grasped the primordial purple chi. The sage's expressions turned ugly. Spring passed and autumn came. The Hundred Peak Immortal River became more and more lively. Ever since the Heavenly Race Banquet ended, more and more Khanate life forms appeared, as if a new era was about to arrive. The Hundred Peak Immortal River was a mini version of that. In the next thousand years, there were more than a hundred new Khanate life forms in the Hundred Peak Immortal River. After a thousand years, Hanju's cultivation improved greatly again. He was getting closer and closer to the mid-stage of the pseudo-sage realm. Hanju was arrogant now. He felt that he could attain the Tao in 10,000 years. F. Liu Lo knew haptors at NOV, E, Elbin, Kong perhaps before the next calamity, he would surpass the heavenly Tao sage level. At that time, if the sages plot against him, he would directly appear and scare them into jumping up from their seats. At that time, Hanju would say indifferently, sit down. He felt great when he thought of this scene. A boring cultivation life required imagination and a firm goal. He might not do that when Hanju really cultivated to that point. However, one thing was certain. Whoever dared to scheme against him would die as long as he was stronger than them. Although Hanju was cautious, he was decisive and never showed mercy to his enemies. On this day, after Han Zuetian, the second Khanic life form had transformed. Han Zuetian brought him around all day, visiting this and that as if he was showing off. The black hell chicken disliked him and often found trouble with him. This was only the reflection of the bottom level of the hidden sect. Several months later, Dao Sovereign found Han Zhu. Master, I want to become a Zenith Heaven Cultivator. Dao Sovereign smiled confidently. As the first existence among the hidden sect disciples to reach the Zenith Heaven Realm, he had the right to be confident. Han Zhu smiled in satisfaction. This day had finally come. If you want to, you can do it. Why do I feel like something is missing? Oh? The chaotic physique is not enough? Cough cough, the physique is a cultivation aspect. The Zenith Heaven Realm requires comprehension of the soul. He emphasized on how to break through to the Zenith Heaven Realm. After all, he was experienced and had ample experience. This lecture lasted for 10 years. Dao Sovereign left with new comprehension. Hanju looked forward to his breakthrough. However, Dao Sovereign was too reckless. He had suffered a setback not long ago and still needed some tempering. Jiang Yi was the same. Although Zhao Xianyuan was cautious, he felt that he couldn't shoulder the burden. Li Yao was a cultivation maniac and would never leave the Dao field. 
Murong Chi was better. Unfortunately, he was not talented enough. Han Zhu closed his eyes and continued cultivating. Up to date OVLS on O, V, L, Bin, CM 200 years later. Dao Sovereign had successfully reached the Zenith Heaven Realm. Although there was no heavenly tribulation, everyone could sense his powerful aura. Zenith Heaven Realm A Zenith Heaven finally appeared among the hidden sect disciples. Five years later, Dao Sovereign completely stabilized his cultivation. Han Zhu walked out of the cave abode and gathered all the disciples to let Murong Chi hold a banquet. This was the first time the hidden sect had held a banquet in the 10,000 years it had been established. What they ate was not meat, but all sorts of spirit fruits and wine. At the banquet, Han Zhu mentioned the Zenith Heaven Realm and the development of the hidden sect. The hidden sect is a hidden sect. I hope that we can maintain our original intentions and prioritize cultivation. Perhaps in the current immortal world, we are the number one in terms of immortal emperors. However, there are too few deity realm, Zenith Heaven, and even the higher pseudo sage. It's difficult for us to compete with the other major factions. I hope that before you reach the deity realm, you won't go out easily. Without reaching the Zenith Heaven Realm, you shouldn't provoke powerful enemies. When the Dao Ancestor appeared, he was already invincible. We walk the path of the Dao Ancestor, and we have always cultivated diligently. When he was born, there were no longer any powerful enemies. Han Zhu shook his wine cup and said casually, Everyone couldn't help but look at Dao Sovereign, who couldn't help but feel ashamed. The matter of him challenging Jiang Dugu had already spread through the hidden sect through Jiang Yi's mouth. Although he was ashamed, Dao Sovereign becoming a zenith heaven was indeed admirable. After Han Zhu finished speaking, he became the banquet's protagonist. Everyone asked him how it felt to become a zenith heaven cultivator. The banquet lasted for a few days. Han Zhu returned to the Daoist temple and continued cultivating. Bored, he asked in his mind, how long until the next calamity? 10 billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue! 10 billion years was nothing to Han Zhu. If the heavenly Tao doesn't change, it will take 4.9 billion years to welcome the next calamity. 4.9 billion years? So long! At that time, I will definitely be invincible under the heavenly Tao. Han Zhu couldn't help but be pleasantly surprised. However, he didn't believe it blindly. After all, there was a prerequisite. If he angered a sage, it would definitely change the course of the heavenly Tao. No matter what, a hundred million years should be possible. He was still confident that he could become a sage in one hundred million years. The immortal world was timeless, especially in cultivation. Year after year passed. Another thousand years passed. Han Zhu was finally close to the mid-stage of the pseudo-sage realm. It had been four thousand years since his last breakthrough. It was really difficult to cultivate to the pseudo-sage realm. Han Zhu predicted that he would break through in at most a hundred years. There were more and more Khanate life forms in the Hundred Peak Immortal River. There were already more than a thousand of them. Han Zuetian had already established a good relationship with each Khanate life form. It wouldn't be difficult for him to subdue them in the future. The Nether race members were usually very quiet. They had already developed bitter cultivation and gentle temperament. Han Zhu began to worry. 10,000 immortal emperors would be the backbone of the hidden sect. However, he was still wary of the nether race. He was worried that Empress Huta would suddenly take them back. Han Zhu suddenly had a bold thought. Should he use absolute purification on every nether race member? Han Zhu called the clan leader Han Yu over and purified him first, consuming a hundred million years of his lifespan. Not much. An immortal emperor was only worth a hundred million years. After the purification was successful, Han Yu gathered the nether race members in a valley. Han Zhu appeared and preached the Tao to them while purifying them. This process lasted for nearly a hundred years. Han Zhu finally purified the entire nether race. 
The nether race members didn't know that they would be purified and were all very touched. Hanju actually preached to them for a hundred years alone. How could they not remember this favor? Hanju was killing two birds with one stone. Not only did he rope in people, but he also made himself feel at ease. He had only spent a trillion years, which was not even enough to curse a sage into developing a mental demon. After returning to the Daoist temple, Hanju started cultivating. Empress Huda sent you a dream. Do you accept? <sighs> so timely? It seemed that Empress Huda could really sense the nether race. Hanju hesitated for a moment and chose to accept it. After entering the dream, he came to the side of the yellow spring. Empress Huda stood not far away and stared at him quietly. Hanju bowed and asked, Empress Huda, are you looking for me? Empress Huda asked, how's the situation of the nether race? Hanju replied, not bad. They're cultivating in seclusion with me. Don't worry, I treat them like my own. I won't mistreat them. He played dumb. Empress Huta was definitely asking about absolute purification. Empress Huta smiled and said, Then, I'm relieved. I can sense that they have already broken through to the Emperor realm. How did you nurture them? That's quite impressive. Hanju sighed and said, I gave them all my natural treasures. Empress Huta was silent. Hanju probed, Empress wants to take them back? Empress Huta shook her head and said, How can that be? I've already entrusted them to you. How can I take them back after they mature? As long as you know that. Empress Huda said, Your disciple, Yang Tiandong, died in the Tao Destruction Mystical Power. However, his soul was protected by a sage. His soul has already come to me. When the order of reincarnation is restored, I will let him reincarnate. Hanju thanked her. Thank you, Empress. Empress Huta asked, What's your cultivation level now? Hanju hesitated for a moment and said, Early stage zenith heaven. Empress Huta praised, Your potential is truly impressive. The two of them chatted for a while more. Hanju's consciousness returned to reality. He asked in his mind, Does Empress Huta want to take back the nether race? Three billion years of lifespan will be deducted. Do you want to continue? Continue. Indeed. Hanju sighed. It was all about benefits. However, Hanju wouldn't release the nether race. He had worked with Empress Hutu before. He had sacrificed so much, so how could he easily hand over the nether race? Back then, Empress Hutu couldn't protect the Magus race, so she handed two Linger, Diamond Rage, and the nether race to Hanju. Her request was only that Hanju could protect them. He had already done well. When he nurtured the nether race to the zenith heaven realm, Empress Huta wouldn't be able to take them and even if she wanted to. The nether race wasn't stupid. The kindness of nurturing and teaching was greater than the kindness of creation. Hanju abandoned his distracting thoughts and started cultivating to break through to the mid-stage of the pseudo-sage realm. Fifty years later, Hanju had a chance to break through. He was about to break through. Cho Shilai wants to visit you in your dreams. Do you accept? Cho Shilai wants to visit you in your dreams. Do you accept? Cho Shilai wants to visit you in your dreams. Do you accept? This lunatic was spamming again. Hanju almost exploded in anger. Why did he choose this time? He had to be wary of such situations in the future. Hanju chose to accept and quickly entered the dream. In the dazzling hall, Hanju saw Cho Shilai. He was still high and mighty. Hanju was furious when he saw him. I want to see what you are really up to. Cho Shilai said in a low voice, prepare to fight for the position of sage. Hanju said, oh. Di's cover, Dabodo story s on no e, then, Calm Chao Shilai asked, You have two Bayak immortal emperors under you? Those people seem to be the nether race created by Empress Hutu? That's right, Hanju replied. He wasn't afraid of being found out anymore. Chao Shilai said, You can't trust Empress Hutu completely. After all, she carries the blood feud of the Magus race. 
Don't be dragged down by her. Thank you for your reminder, Sage. Yes, the Buddhist sect will appear soon. When the time comes, let Chu Shuren be the Buddha. All right. As for fighting for the position of Sage, it's up to you. I've already prepared the primordial purple she needed for the position. It's up to you to work hard. I understand. Thank you for your kind intentions, Sage. Mem. The dream shattered. Hanju returned to reality and immediately started to break through. To him, this guy's words were simply bullshit. He had to break through first. Twenty years later, Hanju successfully broke through. A vast aura spread out from his Taoist temple, causing the hidden sect disciples to look over. Did Hanju break through or comprehend a mystical power? Even Dao Sovereign who was at the Zenith Heaven Realm felt suffocated. The difference in talent was too great. Hanju checked his attributes panel as he consolidated his cultivation. Name, Hanju. Race, Primordial Fiend Celestial, Immeasurable Emperor. Cultivation, Mid-stage of the Pseudo-Primordial Chaos Zenith Heaven Golden Immortal Realm. Technique, Primordial Chaos Reincarnation Great Dao, Great Dao, Heavenly Cycle Body Tempering. Great Dao, Great Dao of Life and Death, Great Dao of Karma, Great Dao of Extreme Origin. His lifespan had almost tripled again. Awesome! Hanju's current lifespan was almost near infinite. Even the immortal world might not have such a long lifespan. Not bad. He had to deal with sage faded secrets later. Hanju closed his eyes silently and continued to consolidate his cultivation. After another 30 years, his cultivation completely stabilized. After that, he spent a few months raising his sword down mystical powers before continuing to cultivate the fiend celestial dharma idols. 20 years later, Hanju condensed nine fiend celestial dharma idols. They were Thunderbolt Fiend Celestial, Malevolent Fiend Celestial, Abyss Fiend Celestial, Blood Fiend Celestial, Extreme Ice Fiend Celestial, Light Fiend Celestial, Cloud Fog Fiend Celestial, Extreme Secret Fiend Celestial, and Resentment Fiend Celestial. At this point, Hanju had grasped a total of 22 Fiend Celestial Dharma Idols. When the 22 Fiend Celestials attacked together, even a sage would need 10 breaths of time to kill him. Hanju could insta-kill anyone under the sage realm, no matter who it was. When his cultivation level increased by one level, Hanju's strength also increased by a lot. Hanju didn't condense a new fiend celestial chi in the world of stars. Instead, he took out the Book of Misfortune and started cursing sage faded secrets. His lifespan had been refreshed and had tripled. He had to curse him to liven things up. Five days later, Hanju's lifespan began to decrease rapidly. He stared at his attributes panel and checked his emails. Your good friend Heavenly Emperor has received guidance from a mysterious mighty figure. His cultivation has increased greatly. Your disciple Long Hao has condensed his body again. Your grand disciple Fang Liang has entered the dark forbidden zone. Your good friendly Dao Kong has broken through the heavenly Dao shackles and stepped into the pseudo sage realm. Your Dao companion Xian Qing Jun has comprehended the heavenly racist Dao technique. Her cultivation has increased greatly. Your good friend Pen Xian broke through the seal and was attacked by the ancient master of calamity. He was severely injured. Your good friend Jiang Dugu was attacked by your good friend Li Dao Kong and was severely injured. Li Dao Kong had actually become a pseudo sage. It was unexpected but totally reasonable. After all, Li Dao Kong was the eldest disciple of the human school. He had already experienced the calamity. How could his cultivation not increase? Li Muyi had probably given him a lot of special treatment. Poor Jiang Dugu couldn't defeat Li Dao Kong now. Hanju was very curious. Who was this ancient master of calamity? He would ask in the future. He couldn't derive it just because of his curiosity. It had to involve himself. Otherwise, there were too many unknowns in the entire immortal world. If Hanju really asked them one by one, no amount of lifespan would be enough. Hanju's lifespan continued to decrease. A billion years. 
10 billion years, 100 billion years, a trillion years, 2 trillion years. Outside the Suisun RD heaven, in the hall, Sage Faded Secrets raised his hand and circulated his energy to resist the strange curse. Damn dark forbidden lord, the curse power has strengthened again. He still dares to pretend. He's definitely a sage. Sage Faded Secrets cursed silently. This curse had already surpassed the power of a pseudo-sage. However, he did not panic. He could still resist. As time passed, Sage Faded Secrets frowned even more. The mental demon he had suppressed previously jumped out again. You're the strongest sage. Why must you look at the other sages? You don't rely on the Tao ancestors' Tao teachings or the Providence sect. You relied on your own cultivation to become a sage. You're the destined one. Activate the Tao destruction mystical power and destroy the teachings of all the sages. Sage Faded Secrets ignored the mental demons and used his supreme dermic powers to protect his Tao heart. Another period of time passed. His dermic powers began to waver. The cursed power of the Dark Forbidden Lord had already reached a terrifying level. Who is it? Sage Faded Secrets gritted his teeth. He thought of a sage with such a curse. A sage who was not a heavenly Tao sage. Limoli of the Human School. It was very likely. Limoli wasn't weaker than him. He wasn't a heavenly Tao sage. If Li Mui cursed him, he would indeed find it difficult to predict. Furthermore, as the sect master of the human school, Li Mui also controlled the other two branches of the Tao sect. Killing the other sages was indeed beneficial to the Tao sect. Sage Faded Secrets was enlightened and his eyes turned cold. When Han Ju's lifespan decreased by 18 trillion years, he finally saw the emails about Sage Faded Secrets. He immediately stopped cursing. Because of your curse, the Tao heart of your enemy, Sage Faded Secrets, has cracked. His mental demons are rising. Enough! It was worth it! It was almost impossible to curse a sage to death at once. Hanju wanted to grind him to death. After resting for a few days, Hanju continued cursing. This time, he cursed Chiu Shilai. Although Chiu Shilai had helped him in the previous calamity, this fellow wanted to trick him and even used the sage position to tempt him. Hanju cursed him as a warning. He didn't want this fellow to disturb him when he had nothing to do. After cursing for five days, Hanju put down the Book of Misfortune. He stood up and stretched. This was a secret technique he had learned in his previous life. The art of body stretching. He was just reminiscing. Hanju was a pseudo-sage and didn't need to stretch his muscles. As he moved, he used his divine sense to observe the situation in the Tao field. Recently, several Khanate life forms had transformed. Like the previous Khanate life forms, they started following Han Zuetian. From time to time, they would patrol the Hundred Peak Immortal River for some reason. Hearing that he was going to preach the Tao, everyone flocked to a mountain. Between the two mountains was a vast grassland that had already become the place where the hidden sect preached the Tao. Everyone was looking forward to Hanju's lecture. Every time the lecture ended, they would gain something. This time, Hanju decided to embark on the Great Tao of Extreme Origin. He wanted to pull the nether race to his side as soon as possible so that Empress Huta would not keep thinking about them. When all the nether race members cultivated the Great Tao of Extreme Origin, they would have to follow Hanju in the future. The Khanate life forms of the Hundred Peak Immortal River also secretly listened. Hanju turned a blind eye to this. He was really not afraid of others learning it. As long as one cultivated the Great Tao of Extreme Origin, they would have to take him as their master eventually. This was also the reason why the sages often preached to all living beings. Because there were many sages, they couldn't directly preach to all living beings. They would only invite the mighty figures of the world to the 33rd heaven from time to time. Time passed. Days passed. 50 years passed in the blink of an eye. Hanju returned to the Taoist temple, and the strange deity followed. 
Looking at the strange deity's rare appearance, Hanju sighed and smiled. Time really passed quickly. The strange deity came to his back and began to rub against him. Hanju realized that he was really old. He would always sigh about the past and reminisce about the old days. He was indeed old. After all, he was more than 10,000 years old. 10,000 years was enough for the world to change completely. Although he was emotional, he still had to cultivate. Hanju began to condense the fiend celestial chi in the world of stars and condensed a new fiend celestial dharma idol. Not to mention nurturing 3,000 fiend celestials, he had yet to even reach 1% of the 3,000 fiend celestial dharma idols. Up to date OVLS on O, V, L, Bin, CM this was also good. In the long and boring cultivation years, there had to be quantifiers of progress. Only by having a close target could he pull himself towards a distant target. Shusan TH Heaven, Heavenly Race. In a golden palace, Ji Xianshen and Fang Liang stood facing each other. Ji Xianshen walked back and forth. He placed his hands behind his waist and frowned. Fang Liang said impatiently, How much longer are you going to walk? You're the heavenly ancestor now. Ji Xianshen stopped and said unhappily, how can I not be anxious? The sages said that they want to choose a new sage. If this sage doesn't come from the heavenly race, a large force that can compete with the heavenly race will definitely emerge in the future. Upon mentioning this, Ji Xianshen stomped his feet. The heavenly race was a mixed breed. His trusted aides were not strong enough to fight for the position. Ji Xianshen hated himself for being born too late. If he had been born tens of thousands of years earlier, he might have been able to fight for the sage position himself. Fang Liang said, actually, there's no need to worry. The sages didn't say when the sage position will be given out. The last calamity has just ended. Even if a pseudo sage wants to become a sage, it will take countless years. Ji Xianchen's expression softened. He felt that it made sense. He suddenly thought of something and asked, Can't your grandmaster defeat Li Dao Kong? Why don't we let him fight for the position? Fang Liang said awkwardly, That's not good. He doesn't want to be disturbed. Are you stupid? If he becomes a sage, who will dare to disturb him in the future? His cultivation goal is to become a sage in the end. If we give him this opportunity, he will only be happier, Ji Xianshen said angrily. He felt that ever since Feng Liang had filled the calamity, his brain had not been good. He used to be a smart kid. It was all those high and mighty sages' fault. Feng Liang sighed. All right, I'll ask. Another 20 years passed since the lecture ended. On this day, Hanju sensed the divine sense fluctuation from the heavenly Tao token. He took it out. Hello, Grandmaster? Mm. I have an opportunity for you. Get lost. Huh? You also want to trick your grandmaster? No, this opportunity is extraordinary. It's about becoming a sage. You have the primordial purple chi? I don't. Do you need primordial purple chi to attain the Tao? Of course. Didn't the sage behind you mention this? Now, every sage claims to have the primordial purple chi. As for finding people to fight for the sage position, this is all a conspiracy. Don't believe it so easily. Understood. After severing his divine sense, Fang Liang immediately went to find Ji Xianshen. Han Ju put away the heavenly Tao token and couldn't help but sigh. Sages are best at fooling people. Did these sages not even blink when lying? The primordial purple chi was in Empress Nuwa's hands. The sages didn't have the confidence and insisted on declaring that they had a sage position. They were probably worried that the prodigies would be snatched away by other sages. Hanju didn't think too much and continued cultivating. On the other side, Fang Yang found Ji Xianshen and told him what Hanju said. Ji Xianshen's expression changed. He sent a voice transmission to Fang Yang. It seems that the sages don't have good intentions and want us to fight among ourselves. Fang Liang replied, that's right. 
If not for Grandmaster's reminder, we would probably be LED by the nose. However, this is also a good thing. If we don't say it, the others will fight for the sage position for nothing. We can secretly strengthen our forces. That makes sense. Help me thank your Grandmaster. It's fine. But then again, doesn't your Grandmaster mean that he has a sage behind him or that a sage is contacting him? Isn't that normal? True. Ji Xianshen fell into deep thought. It was unknown what he was thinking. In the depths of the sea, in a palace hidden in the darkness. Long Hao was meditating and cultivating. A soul body surrounded him. It was Hao Tian. Hao Tian seemed to be thinking about something with a solemn expression. Long Hao opened his eyes and asked, Have you thought of a way? Hao Tian said, That's so fast. I feel that the matter of the sage position is too fishy. If the sages have the primordial purple chi, they will definitely hide it well. How can they directly publicize it? Long Hao asked, Is it a trap? Hao Tian didn't say anything else and continued wandering around. Long Hao sighed and said faintly, If I knew earlier, I shouldn't have left the hidden sect. If I didn't leave the hidden sect, I would still be cultivating in seclusion without any worries. If I was still in seclusion, I might already be attempting to break through to the Zenith Heaven Realm. When I break through to the Zenith Heaven Realm and continue cultivating with Master, I might be able to use my strength to attain the Tao. I don't need any primordial purple chi. He began to chatter, making Hao Tian annoyed. Ever since the calamity ended, Long Hao had always been talking nonsense. He knew that he would regret it. Hao Tian had no room for regret. He was just very helpless. He had missed too many opportunities in the past, causing him to be suppressed by many sages and unable to make a comeback. Some sages were even his juniors. The pain in his heart was greater than anyone else. Why don't we go back? I'll introduce you to Master. As long as you show your loyalty, he'll definitely take you in. Long Hao suddenly said. Hao Tian frowned. Join him? Long Hao said, look at our hidden sect. Someone else has become the Heavenly Emperor. Have you forgotten about the Heavenly Race Banquet not long ago? The hidden sect already has 200 immortal emperors. What does this mean? My master is accumulating strength. According to what I found out, Dao Sovereign and Jiang Yi have both joined the hidden sect. You should know their potential. He had always paid special attention to Han Zhu. In the previous calamity, almost all the forces had people related to him. Most importantly, Han Zhu could protect these people. Even the sinful Su Qi was protected by the sages. Perhaps joining Han Zhu was really a bright path. However, Hao Tian didn't know which sage was supporting him. Long Hao smiled and said, Entering my hidden sect might not allow you to show off, but at least you can cultivate in peace. You can also recover your cultivation in peace. When you reach the peak, won't it be a good thing? Hao Tian pondered for a moment and nodded slowly. The immortal world became more and more lively. The number of ferocious beasts increased, as did the Khanate life forms. The greatest difference between Khanate life forms and ferocious beasts was that the former had intelligence. Most Khanate life forms could not transform. Those who couldn't move were often ravaged by ferocious beasts. Those who could run discovered that devouring ferocious beasts could make them stronger. Just like that, the conflict between Khanate life forms and ferocious beasts began to brew. Time flew. Another thousand years passed. You ovals up Tez on NOVLB, I, Kong Hanju's cultivation had improved greatly again. Although his speed of improvement was not as fast as before, he felt that it was not bad. He had to feel the results before he could move forward with enthusiasm. In the past thousand years, the disciples of the hidden sect had also improved. Diamond Rage and the Black Hell Demon Lord stepped into the deity realm one after another and were taught the Great Tao of Extreme Origin by Han Zhu. More and more people cultivated the Great Tao of Extreme Origin. Han Zhu was very satisfied. Just with Tao Sovereign and the others cultivating the Great Tao of Extreme Origin, 
It already made Hanju feel that it was becoming stronger. Although he also needed to comprehend the Great Tao of Extreme Origin, as it was created by him, he could clearly sense that it was becoming stronger. On this day, Zhou Fen found him. No, Hanju said expressionlessly. Zhou Fen actually wanted to go out. Impossible. Zhou Fen frowned. If we don't take action, the three regions belonging to the hidden sect will definitely be occupied. Hanju said, so be it. Cultivate to the pseudo-sage realm first. Before that, don't even think about leaving. Zhou Fan was the Dharma idol of Seven Dao Sage. He wouldn't die if he went out, but he would definitely cause trouble. Han Ju wanted to suppress Zhou Fan here and let him cultivate the Great Dao of Extreme Origin. As time passed, the Seven Dao Sage could forget about controlling him. If Zhou Fan was strong enough, even Seven Dao Sage would no longer dare to target him. If Han Ju died, all the cultivators of the Great Dao of Extreme Origin would suffer, including Zhou Fan. Pseudo Sage? How long will that take? Zhou Fan's expression changed. Although he already had the chaotic physique, if he wanted to cultivate to the Pseudo Sage realm. He stared at Han Ju and asked, You're already a Pseudo Sage? What? I asked you. Is this how you talk to your master? It seems like you've been a little arrogant recently. Let's go, we'll enter the simulation trial. Han Ju didn't care if Zhou Fan agreed or not and forcefully pulled him into the simulation trial. Several days later, Zhou Fan walked out of the Daoist temple with a stunned expression. His hands and his sleeves trembled slightly. The black hell chicken appeared around him. It was unknown if it was a coincidence, but it asked with a smile, Rat, what's wrong? Zhou Fan did not answer. Like a walking corpse, he walked numbly towards his residence. News quickly spread. The other disciples who wanted to go out also didn't dare to look for Han Ju. They guessed that there might be a drastic change in the world next, so Han Ju didn't let them out. For a time, a tense cultivation wind stirred in the hidden sect. Ten years later, after cursing sage faded secrets, Han Ju walked out of the Daoist temple and started to wander around the Hundred Peak Immortal River. The strange deity followed behind him. Until today, other than Han Ju, no one else could see it. Most of the hidden sect disciples were cultivating, but one was not. That was Han Zuetian. Han Zuetian gathered all the transformed Khanate life forms in a valley. Han Ju came to the peak and quietly watched. What? Han Ju had a strange expression. This fellow was... Training soldiers? Han Zuetian stood at the front. The Khanate life forms imitated him by punching and raising their legs. Interesting. Han Ju left after watching for a while. He didn't expect much from Han Zuetian. Han Ju went to the Nether Race's territory next. All the Nether Race members were cultivating and the territory was peaceful. He was very satisfied with their attitude. At this moment, Han Ju suddenly felt a familiar aura that he hadn't felt in a long time. Long Hao! Why was this kid here? Han Ju almost forgot about him. Long Hao stopped outside the Hundred Peak Immortal River and was hiding somewhere to cultivate. Han Ju checked the nearby powerful enemies. The strongest outside the Hundred Peak Immortal River was Long Hao who had one mystic divine origin cultivation. After thinking for a moment, Han Ju activated all the Dharma treasures in his body. The sun and moon Yin Yang protection burst out with divine light and enveloped him. In the depths of the cave, Long Hao suddenly felt a strong light. He opened his eyes and looked over. He could only see Han Ju's figure and couldn't see his true appearance. Long Hao immediately stood up in fear. Immediately after, his expression changed. He asked carefully, Master? Han Ju said, You still consider me your master? Long Hao hurriedly knelt down and said fearfully, You're my master for all eternity. You even dare to deal with your own father. I really don't dare to accept you anymore. I'm afraid that you'll kill your master when you become stronger. Han Ju's tone was filled with mockery. Long Hao said awkwardly, I was just fighting for power. 
I had no intention of killing my father. Under my father's lead, the heavenly court had already reached a bottleneck. He stuck to the will of the Tao ancestor and wanted to maintain the peace of the myriad worlds. He bullied the weak and feared the strong. How could the heavenly court develop under him? Even the true dragons looked down on him. In the past, the four factions the heavenly court, the divine palace, the Buddhist sect, and the demon court acted and always wanted to maintain a balance. However, he was the heavenly emperor. How could the heavenly emperor be on the same level as others? I thought he was not worthy of being the heavenly emperor. He had already lost the domineering aura that a heavenly emperor should have. The more Long Hao spoke, the more excited he became. In the end, his eyes turned red. Clearly, he had been holding this back for a long time. Han Zhu interrupted, I don't want to care about this or hear about it. I just want to know why you came back. Long Hao gritted his teeth and said, I want to return to the hidden sect. Hide here for a while before going out to cause more trouble. What do you think the hidden sect is? No! I won't go out again without your instructions. Go to the Hundred Peak Immortal River Formation and kowtow. As you kowtow, say that you are wrong. Do that for a thousand years. Huh? Long Hao was shocked. Han Ju ignored him and disappeared. Long Hao's expression changed. Hao Tian appeared inside. Pseudo Sage. Your master is at least a pseudo sage. No wonder. It seems that your information is wrong. Your master can't be only 10,000 years old. Long Hao said in pain, I have to kneel for a thousand years and still have to admit my mistake. How embarrassing is that? Hao Tian said angrily, didn't you want to come back yourself? You have to pay the price. If I were your master, it wouldn't be so simple.